Yeah, more air gun shooting today. I originally built this gun, this air gun, for hunting. Something that was could still be used as a pistol that had a lot of velocity. Something that could take down uh, just about any kind of small game that I wanted to encounter. And uh, I've developed that gun. Now this is old technology. The new technology uses much higher pressures and uh, balanced valves. This is still old school stuff as far as air guns go. And, you know, it is what it is. So I got the range set up with the chronometer. And we're going to do test. some testing. We're going to be going to test. Oh, look at here. Nielsen Specialty Slugs. 38 grain point 217. We're going to give them a go. And a lot of people, some people, don't like these. They say you mess up your gun. I don't see how the uh, actual projectile will not make contact with your barrel. It's got a, a, a plastic skirt on it. So, if it does, well, we'll replace the barrel or we'll just clean it. But I'm not going to test that today, whether or not it does anything in the barrel. I'm just going to test where it shoots. We got our chronometer and we got our range set up. I have an action camera down there, just about five feet away from that target, six feet away from that target, and we're going to see if we can capture some shot video. And since I really like this PCP to air pump so much, we're going to use it to pump up our gun. It shoots to have a little bit of pressure. It has about 500 pounds left in it. So let's just hook this rascal up and there's the gun up again. Last time it took three minutes. I'm gonna not let I'm not gonna let y'all suffer through all that. I'm not gonna fast forward to it. But we'll just fade in and out. Now that's it. Let's look it up here. Sometimes I get a little fiddly in the There we go. And we're ready to go. There's no way to be on that spring. Okay, the first plug today is a crossman slug, a crossman pellet. It's a, a crossman ultra heavy. It's a uh, lead free, a one, a, a 16.7 grain. So I've never shot these slugs before. I have no idea how they're going to perform. We're going to try to chronograph these things and then recharge them. We'll do the, and we'll do the, uh, the Nielsen Spectrum slug. Okay. Here we go. Turns it nicely. Put a red dot on. And you got a red dot. Further out. Oh, he said, 
Third shot in, no reading yet. But we're accurate, Did you know that. Per second. Holy crap. 9.95, the 16.7 grain pellet. Let's do one more. I want this one to do three. We'll make it. We'll do five. Calculate the muzzle in a bit. 816 feet per second. That's pretty doggone good. Heavier slugs still do really good. High 1800s, high to the 1800s, high to low 1800s, 800. I'll, I'll take that easy day. Well, we got one more shot. Let's see if we can get that one to work. Well, we got a lot of good ones here. Let's see if we can get that one to work. Well, we got a lot of good ones here. Let's see if we can get that one to work. Slugs. 
Get that one. We're nowhere in the 800 zone. I don't think we're going to get any more better velocity, different velocities out of it. Be safe. Not the rest. I do like the cross from both the heads, too. These are. Uh, right at, these are 38 grains, all right, right at 40 grains of slug, and that is, is uh, that pellet is 16.7 grains, so about twice the weight to get a little better. So here we go. Adjust it. When I shoot something at this distance, I'm probably just going to hold up a little bit. More than one shot at a time, I'm not going to get. So what this tells us is that uh, the slugs are not quite as stable as the Diablo style uh, Crossman pellets, but they are stable enough and accurate enough, but uh, so far the pellets are more accurate. Big surprise. The pellet was a tad more destructive than the slug. Wow, look at that damage. Wow, Crossman, heavies, 16.7 grain. Nils and specialty slugs, hollow point, 38 grain. Of course, it might have been where it hit it, but look at that. Oh my God. That's just, there's our entrance. No, I don't know where entrance one is. It was wicked. 